city of Chicago. Who's carried the Windy City on her back for the past two years. A woman who fights for truth and justice in the American way. Please welcome the current overpowering champion of the world. City of Gotham, the crime fighter who fights the religion of crime and has been for over the last four years. Please welcome the Dark Knight herself, You are looking live at the United Center in the city of Chicago where we are getting prepared for the first ever charity boxing match between two powerful superheroes. Here's a look at Superwoman working out in the locker room earlier here this afternoon. She's now in the ring getting set for her position. Batwoman also earlier today working on the locker room getting ready to lay some punches to what is what we've heard is Arch enemy territory. These two will be facing each other in the first ever boxing match in their careers as WON Sports Pie presents the Superheroine Boxing Series between Superwoman, the Woman of Steel, and Batwoman, the Dark Knight, live from the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. While we have a moment, let's take a look at the tail of the tape presented by Dinoco Gasoline. And obviously both same occupation, super heroines, but uh, Batwoman has two years up on Superwoman. Batwoman four years in crime fighting from the city of Gotham. She's 5'4". And for Superwoman, she's from the city of Chicago. Two years into her super heroine career, and she's 5'8". So she has a height advantage against the Dark Knight. As we told you, it's the first time these two will be in a boxing match, and it's kind of a home crowd for Superwoman. Why? Because the Woman of Steel is from Chicago. She's Chicago's new shining light. Came to Chicago in 2019, has brought over 4,000 criminals to justice, and she's half human and half Kryptonian. If you don't know why, uh, of course, follow us in the past fan film series installments that we brought you, and you'll know how the creation of Superwoman was done. And we're about to get underway. Uh, boxing match scheduled for 12. We're set for round one between Batwoman and Superwoman. Yours truly, John Thrills. Give you the bow by blow action already. Both superheroines are trading punches. There's a shot to the gut by Batwoman. And there's a shot to the left hook or right hook to Superwoman. And Batwoman is already up ahead. Both girls, as you know, do not like each other. And now both are trading barbs against each other's boxing gloves. None are hitting the face as of yet, or a few moments ago there was. Nothing but love taps at this time. And but now they're coming up punching left and right. So love taps have now upgraded to big blows. Look at these two go at it. And this crowd loves it at the moment. And now Batwoman with the upper hand as Superwoman looks like she's staggered. Batwoman taking all the time and now trash talking. And Superwoman responding with some trash talking of her own. And now, look at Superwoman. Now she's triggered. And Batwoman is staggered. 40 seconds to go in this match. And Superwoman with the upper hand. Couple of gut punches. Superwoman laying one out. And the bat is out. She got flown out the ring and hits the wall. Down to 20 seconds to count down to 10. And she will not get up. Superwoman has won this match with less than 40 seconds to go in round one. Holy cow, as we take a look at the big haymaker on replay. That knocked her out the ring. And here comes Dex Rowe, the ring announcer, with the winning announcement.
It took one round, but I guess we all know who's the dominant one. The woman of steel. She gets a good hand from the home crowd. And we're watching Batwoman stagger, thinking the match continues, and she's out. So these two face off each other, deadly rivals, heroes in her own city. But in this match, who has the final say? The woman of steel. You can bet your bottom dollar the story between these two is not over yet. <laughs>